I just did my Maggie Bags review. Reviews make me tired. It's hard, morally I think, not morally, but it's hard for me to do a review because on the one hand, like, you get sent something for free, something that costs money. So, like, saying the things that I didn't like about it, um, felt like I was being ungrateful, and I wasn't, I just, ugh, it's just really tiring. Doing a review like that, especially, like if it's just makeup, typically, you know, I typically makeup runs, you know, between like six and sixteen dollars. So I'm not so much worried about if I rip that one a new one. I'm trying not to look at myself in the camera. I'm used to having my like camera set up, so I'm not so apt to looking at the little side thingy. I think I try to look at the center, but on this one, my camera is right here and my face is right here, so it's hard for me not to look and talk at myself like I'm doing right now. Anyway, I just wanted to come on here and do a little vlog and kind of let you guys know what's been going on in my life and what's going to be going on recently and why I've been gone and why I'm going to be gone. So if you guys follow my Twitter, which I don't Twitter a lot only because I don't really get a lot of replies on Twitter. And so it's just kind of annoying to just be talking to yourself, because I do that here. <laughs> so I don't really need another forum just to talk to myself. Um, I update on Facebook a lot more, because people actually seem to interact with me on Facebook. Uh, yeah. But if you want to follow me on Twitter, the more people that talk to me, the more I'll talk on there. <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest here, right? You don't, Nobody really wants to totally talk to themselves all the time. Um, but I am on Twitter a lot. I just don't write a lot is the thing. You know, I check my Twitter multiple times a day just because it really is a really great source of information. I just realized my eyes look like I... My eyes look like I'm rooting for the Lakers, which... No. <laughs> Sorry, Suze. But as a Thunder fan, I don't feel, you know, I can't root for the Lakers. So I'm in the process of trying to find a place to live. Um, I've been in this apartment for five years now, and my my um, lease is up for this fifth year, and it just gets more expensive every year. Like, it's redonkulous. So I'm trying to find a more affordable place to be able to stay. I was looking for a roommate. That didn't pan out. Most of my friends, IRL, are in a relationship or in a lease already themselves or married and married people don't really like roommates. <laughs> so then it kind of got down to the wire because my lease is up July 31st. In the process of looking, my mom and myself were both looking for something. She found um, kind of the perfect place for me. It was a two bedroom, one bathroom house with a two car garage, huge backyard, front yard, kind of in the country, relatively secluded space. Um, it was older house, but nobody had lived in it for a couple of years. It was well taken care of. I had a really close neighbor, which was a family friend, so that's, he was gonna sell, or he was gonna rent me this house. He was also going to rent it for something that was really in my price range, because it was already paid off um, he was going to rent it to me very cheap, which was going to be awesome. You know, it was going to be great. It had the most horrible carpet, though. It was royal blue and light blue mixed. And shag, by the way, all throughout the house, because like I said, it was older house. And then in one room, it had purple shag carpet, which I loved. And I was so excited to do like a Moroccan style room with lots of, you know, bright, vibrant colors and, you know, curtains and draperies and all those little, you know, little vases, you know, that were different colors and it was going to be so fun and paint my walls really crazy and that was going to be my YouTube room along with like an office and my bedroom was going to be blue, white, and orange and I was so excited, you know, I was <laughs> totally ready. So one weekend my mom and I go out there and we go clean like the whole place. Um, getting ready to kind of move my stuff in a little over time since we knew the guy I could kind of move in um, not all at once like I would have to if it was a new brand new place 
Anyway, so we do that one weekend. The next weekend I was planning on, and this was just not this last Friday, but the Friday before. I was planning on, I was going to spend the weekend, this was the weekend of July 4th, um, painting and getting everything ready and just bringing stuff over and I was so excited. I spent the whole week waiting for this. Four o'clock my mom calls and she's like, so we lost the house. I was like, what? Apparently, this douchebag went and sold it to one of his friends and was like, call my mom out of the blue. Now, mind you, this day at lunch, because I had forgotten to put in my, um, my notice, because you have to have a written notice in 30 days prior, I went at lunch and turned in my notice. And at 4 o'clock is when I get the call that he had sold it to one of his friends and he called her and was like, oh, you're going to be mad at me. Really? Like, seriously? That's all you have to say? Oh, so, still, still so completely pissed. <laughs> so that's what's been going on that way. Apparently he had a friend who had kind of him hot about buying the property before and when he found out that it was leased, he was like, oh, but I'm going to buy it. And the guy was like, oh, okay. Stupid sorry jackass. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So that kind of pulled the rug out from under me. And from then on, I've been a little scatterbrained because I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed. Because first of all, I have to pack up all of my shit. It is now the 10th. And I haven't packed anything yet. I have no place to move, um, so I've been trying to find, because after that, you know, I got spoiled thinking that I was going to have a house with a garage. I was really looking forward to having a house, so I've been looking, trying to find a decent rent house that I can rent by myself, but everything is so expensive. God, it's really annoying because now I'm totally, you know, I'm on my own, I have no roommate, and most rental houses, unless they're in a bad neighborhood, are something that I kind of need a roommate for because I, you know, I don't make a lot of money. <laughs> it's putting a damper on YouTube filming because there's so much other stuff on my plate right now that I just can't, I can't just <laughs> make, I can't just sit here and put on makeup. And it's not that I'm just like going to be thrown out on my ass. I have family here and probably what's going to end up happening because of the date is coming up so quickly, I'm going to move in with my grandparents for a little while. Uh, I'm pretty sure YouTube videos will still be okay there. It'll be a, in a completely different place. You know, it won't look anything like this. But um, if you go back like far, far, far back before I lost weight and all that kind of stuff, um, you'll see a video that has my grandma in it and I'm at her house. So it'll be something like that. So I'll still make videos when I get there. Once I get settled is the only thing. It's really stressful, guys. <laughs> So because of all of this mess is the reason why I missed IMATS this year. I had totally planned on going, um, it's just been kind of a, a clusterfuck. <laughs> Did you guys see how big Kevin got? He is so evil, I swear. I can't even see my hands right now. Hello little sir. He's getting all swirly back here. He's being really nice right now. And his eyes have turned like Edward Cullen gold. You see it? They're topaz. Show the people your gold eye. Edward Cullen topaz eyes. I should call him Edward. Do you sparkle? We're gonna sparkle in the sunlight. Hmm? Do you sparkle, sir? Ow. No. I think he's looking at you. That was loud. But that's how I sound most of the time when he jumps on me. Cause he claws me.